Aries, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Um, get into the week. <laughs> Swimming through the week. Aries, you fire. So what you, you lighten up the week. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. The Star Seed Oracle. Let's start with that. Um, give me some. That's three. Okay. We have star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. Holy Spirit, activate. I just heard that. Okay. Um, I remember soul plan. Mm, the faded life versus the destiny life. Someone is remembering their soul contract. And that's what's causing this activation, possibly. Crystal Grid has something to do with like, like astrology. You can be an astrologer. You can like all of a sudden you can have an urge to study astrology. Um, stars, the moon, all that good stuff. Mm weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry the faded life versus the destiny life someone is either at a cross worlds or they are choosing to set their boundaries and let go of this 3d life they've been living aries okay they're realizing um maybe light body crystal grid transmission activation maybe the seven seven i've been getting the seven seven portal <laughs> non-stop i feel like the seven seven portal has really um activated some soldiers some of god's uh not even some a, a lot of god's soldiers um source goddesses soldiers you know universes soldiers like we all the same out here okay we all got a mission um, to partake in, and yeah, someone is realizing that they're here to do something. They're here to do to be something more, to do more. Um, and you could possibly feel guilty. Maybe you, um, maybe you're being called to move. Maybe you're being called to just, you know, separate. I'm hearing separate or distance yourself from people, placing and things that don't serve you anymore. That's not um, conducive to your mission. Conducive, is that a word? <laughs> I don't think so, anyway. Anyway. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. But, um, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. For star bathing, light body, cross grid, transmission, activation. Mm. Mm. Emperor in reverse. Okay, and burn reverse. What's going on here? Emperor in, rever in reverse could be stubborn. They could be um, a father figure. Well, an emperor as a father figure. So maybe that absentee father. They could be lazy. Let's see. Let's see what else we got. Three of Swords. And we have Three of Cups. Three, three. You could be seeing the numbers 33. 
What is this Emperor in reverse? With this. What is this Emperor in reverse? Ooh, you saw that, right? You saw that, right? Did you see that? Well, how am I taking it? Okay, I'm taking it the way it flipped out. We have a King of Swords in reverse, Emperor in reverse, okay? So, Aries, you came out as the Emperor in reverse. What's going on here? Maybe it's you, maybe it's someone else that you're dealing with. It's in your energy. Um, we have the King of Swords in reverse. The king, the king of swords upright, he's, you know, discerning, um, a truth teller, don't take no shit, you know. In reverse, um, rule, uh, well, first I wouldn't say upright, rules fairly, right? So in reverse, um, could be a tyrant, a liar, um, controlling. What's this three of cups? What's this three of cups? Like, what's this celebration? I don't understand. Someone is like celebrating like a demise of an emperor, or someone is, um, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. The lovers. Okay, Aries, you could be free of a, a emperor, king of swords in reverse. Someone who's a liar. Someone who um, who is a tyrant. Someone who is um, they could be just reckless and stubborn. They could be um controlling mentally abusive emotionally abusive this is what I'm hearing this is what I'm, this is what I'm and you're celebrating your freedom um, from them this could have been a husband this could have been um, someone that you were in a relationship with this could be an actual father um this could be a father figure it could be your father your stepfather whatever um but i do have lovers here so it's giving me lovers okay but love is love but anywho you you know you know where it goes so but you're putting an end to this situation and you're celebrating it because you have this three of cups you're celebrating the end so you didn't end up, you just, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you ended a cycle with, um, yeah, oops, I forgot, they don't have no clothes on. Did you see it? Did you see it? Whatever, Okay. All right, I remember Soul Plan, The Faded Life versus Destiny Life. You closing out this cycle and ending whatever this was with this um, Emperor in Reverse, uh, King of Swords in Reverse. Mm, you ending out this cycle. This could be two different people too. You could have been with two different people. Who knows, Aries? figure it out um <laughs> only you know um but this is like it caused you like it um 
it activated something in you so maybe that was a test to see like you know maybe your ancestors god was like this was one of your tests that you didn't that you were unaware of let me speak okay but um are you gonna close out this cycle are you gonna end whatever this was relationship um this is definitely a given relationship though are you gonna end this relationship um choose yourself choose choose your path i'm gonna choose your path are you gonna choose your path and you did and because of that holy spirit activate yeah they were like all right you passed the test we're gonna bless you with some gifts now mm -hmm. all right i remember so planned the faded life versus the destiny life what do we have for that The hermit. Let me listen up the cards now. Let's see. Can you see like the? I want you guys to see the cards a little bit. At least. Okay. So we have the hermit. Got some self reflection. We have some. Mm. Am I gonna take this? You have the five of swords, but I really didn't like give a good shuffle, so I'm gonna put that back. If it comes out, it comes out. Okay. So you've been enlightened about your purpose, or enlightened these um judgment. I can't raise them. Okay. Uh huh. judgment is also for me it's also like the god the god card right so after ending this cycle you could have or just or just being in this cycle just being in this cycle um Could have caused you to really like self-reflect like what am i doing here what is this because this person this emperor in reverse this king of swords in reverse um they didn't treat you the way you were supposed to be treated obviously i'm hearing over giving You were overgiving and they were inconsiderate. Takers. I'm hearing takers. Like succubus. Like just taking you. Taking your energy. Your love. Your compassion. Your empathy. And giving you nothing in return. And it caused you to self-reflect. Like, what am I doing here? Like, what am I doing wrong? Been there, boo-boo. Been there. And you made a judgment call about this situation or situations. Because I feel like... I feel like people, you know, they get, like, energy misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? One person, like two people can carry the same type of energy right this could be one or two people i feel like i honestly feel like it could have been two people that had the same energy like you were dealing with two different people with the same type of entity the same type of like okay all right you made the judgment call and you're like this is not where it's at 
All right, what else do we have for the Hermit and the Judgment? Ooh. That's it. Three cards. Mm, and that's period. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, you made that judgment call. And... You decided, um, I don't belong here. So, I'm going to take my courageous behind on. And I'm going to put these burdens down. Because you're burdening me, Emperor. In reverse, you're burdening me. You're burdening me. King of Swords. I'm carrying all the weight. And you sitting pretty. And you dropped it. And you got your cute ass on this boat. And you said, I'm moving. To calmer waters. I feel that. I feel you, Aries. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Now, just to let you know, we have Aries out here. Gemini out here. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini out here. We have Scorpio. We have the, we have Virgo. What's this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just to let you know, I don't think if I, did I say the three of swords is out here? Yeah. So definitely heartbroken. Okay. All right. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Let's see. What else? With the empress at the bottom. Mm. All right. Weight of the world. Boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. If you're feeling guilt about um, <clears throat> moving on, don't. They're the ones that screwed up. They're the ones that effed up. They're the ones who didn't see you for who you were. Yeah, see? Keeping my peace. That's it. I can't save nobody. I put my cape down. Sorry. She said something about boundaries. And she goes, I'm keeping my peace. Absolutely. You're staying resilient. You're protecting yourself. Absolutely. But, oh. Okay. Something else for She was like, I'm going to come out to play. Yeah. This emperor in reverse, this king of swords, heart, uh, what is this? This king of swords with this three of swords, you were heartbroken. You really did put in, you really did try. And now you're celebrating the ending of pain. Absolutely. And you are, um, you made that judgment call. To put down those burdens and move on, Aries. <laughs> Hello. And you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your peace. You have boundaries and you set them. And they not um you're not gonna waver them either. Period. Literally boundaries letting go is yours to carry. And then you have right here with the seven of wands. Protect standing up for yourself. Protecting yourself, protecting your boundaries. Absolutely. Absolutely, Aries. That's that fire that I love to see. Fire flame, honey. Fire man. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we have for it. Nah. Having the strength. You set those boundaries. You're protecting yourself at all costs. And you're stepping into your power, your strength. That's, yeah, that's solar plexus. Whatever had you in this cycle with this emperor in reverse and this king of swords in reverse for so long, you done cleared that out. You done restored your sacral chakra, okay? And that strength, that inner knowing that this is not where I'm supposed to be, this is not how I'm supposed to be treated. 
yeah called that judgment and you're protecting yourself hello it's not yours that burden is not yours to carry mm, okay let's see what else we have aries And this is justice. This is your justice. Moving on is your justice. Moving on is your justice. You're balancing out your own scales. And not only just... See, that's the thing, you know, because the universe only, you know, pulls... Can only pull but so much weight. You have to do your part. And you're doing your part. And because you're doing the, your part... The scales are balancing out. Justice is in your favor. Mm-hmm. Might be getting news. Like I said, this emperor could have been a, a, a husband, a father. Maybe in a, the, um, maybe you are in court for something. Have a, a case open. I don't know. Okay. But we have Libra and Leo out here. Ooh, child, your justice got something to do with a ten of cups, and that shit is coming fast. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> but yeah, it's coming fast. You got wish fulfillment coming fast. The family, the whole nine yards. Whatever you thought you was going to get with this emperor in reverse and this king of swords in reverse. Don't worry about it, boo-boo. Because your ten of cups. Is on its way. Quick, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Quick, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah. Mm. Anything else? There's too much in there. Anything else? Bye. We have the Seven of Swords. I'm going to put that here. Let's see what the Seven of Swords is about. You know. What's the Seven of Swords? What's the, what's the Seven of Swords? King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got a sneaky Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm going to say it. So you can't trip me up. Mm -hmm. Arguments, disputes. Who is this Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's sneaky and wants to cause um, arguments and disputes? Wants to cause confusion. Competition. What else for this um, Ten of Pentacles? I mean, Nine of... What the hell? King of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Seven of Swords. Mm-hmm. The star. Are you healing? This person, this emperor, king of swords... giving me the same energy okay you're healing the person who or the person or people that you are healing from could have aries gemini aquarius Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, 
and can also have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus in their chart, highly aspected. Uh, but you're healing. Can I can I show this? Uh, you see that? Anywho, but you're healing from. Because the King of Pentacles, they're abundant, they're, you know, understand the importance of family life, work life, stable, they're stable, okay? Um, they're protective. But with this Seven of Swords, this Five of Swords and this Star, it's definitely giving me that you had to heal from someone. This person was the exact opposite of what they were supposed to do. They were sneaky. There must have been a lot of lies that caused arguments. Yeah, this this has to do with this. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're like, maybe you're realizing that um, your patterns in your relationships and you're realizing, going back to what I said earlier, um, that you're kind of dealing with people with almost the same type of energy entity. You know what I'm saying? Um, they can have, they can kind of have the same issues, um, whether it's mommy issues, codependency issues. Um hold resentment, aggression, they can be um, envious. Um, and you're realizing, you're healing, you're healing. And yeah, that's that, that self-reflection, that hermit card that solitude in that solitude you healed you self-reflected you like how the hell like you know where is this coming from and usually that you know comes from the love that you've known before any other relationship parents wise you know just in your home mm -hmm. but you've ended out the cycle strong It was a lot of like, it was a lot of lies, a lot of like, they were bullying you, made you feel less than, tried to make you feel less than, but not only did you heal, within all of that, in the middle of all of that, you healed yourself, you are a star. People will know, let me say something. If you don't know yourself, and a lot of people don't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, a lot of people don't. Hell, I didn't know myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, at my lowest vibration, I didn't understand myself and know myself, truly. And people will see you for who you are. People see your light. Before you even know that you possess, that you have any, you know. So, and once they realize that you don't know, you know, who you are and what you possess. And the strength that you have, the energy that you carry naturally. When they realize that you don't know that, they'll manipulate you into thinking, into making you think that you are lesser than what you truly are. I said this before in one of my readings, and I'll say it again. There's people in this world that will love you just to manipulate you. And that's not true love. Now is that. Right? So they'll love you to manipulate you. And there's people in this world that love you naturally, authentically, just to love you. And 
you won't get to that natural, authentic love until you truly, naturally, authentically love yourself. Okay? All right. We're going to wrap this up. So, we got some quotes here, some um, lyrics. Let's see what lyrics we have to wrap this up. Aries. We got Jada Kiss, okay? It says, whatever issues they have, just let them keep those. It's about the morals, the principles, and the G-codes, okay? All right? So, this Emperor in reverse, this King of Swords in reverse, this um, King of Pentacles with this Seven of Swords and this Five of Swords, they, y'all morals, you and their morals, Aries, it didn't line up. Okay? Their principles didn't line up. Okay? They're not just... They're not... um. They're not of your caliber, period. <laughs> what, what you want me to say? Mm -hmm. Not going to sugarcoat nothing. Okay? It is what it is. And whatever issues they feel that they have against you, you know the truth and so does God. Period. God does knows the truth. The universe knows the truth. And the universe work, moves accordingly. Okay? Accordingly to the truth. Period. Let's see what else we got. Ooh. All right, this is my baby Tate. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am rich. I am that bitch. <laughs> I am going to go get that bag and I am not going to take your shit. Okay? So, you made that judgment call, you're moving away, and it says, I'm going to get that bag. So, possibly you're putting money, I mean, you're putting money, time is money, okay? Okay, I said it for a reason. You're putting um, time into yourself, into your career, into your path. This is literally coming, um, ugh. this is literally under the, I remember, soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life, right? So, you can possibly, um, you could have found your purpose. Okay, activation, like I said earlier, you could have you could be on a purposeful on your purposeful path, and you're gonna get your money, you know who you are, you that bitch, you healthy, you wealthy, you wealthy, and you healthy, okay, and you ain't taking nobody's shit anymore. You understand life on a on a totally different level, and you understand that you are to on a totally different level, <laughs> okay, what else do we have? One more. One more lyric for Aries. That's Baby Tate. Um, I didn't write this song down there. Sorry. Something else? No, I got something else. What's at the bottom? Oh, you want to take this? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. At the bottom, I'm just taking at the bottom because, like, it's on point. It says, Let Go to Grow by Free Soul. Okay? The song is Fertile Soil. And that's period. You had to let go of whatever this cycle was. And you ended it. You ended it out strong. You ended it. You healed yourself. And you realized that you are the star. And you're moving accordingly because you are the star that shines bright. Okay? All right. This was beautiful. Aries, that's what I love to see with your fiery self. Okay, have a great Tuesday, have a great week. Um, come on through and see me again. I mean, come on through, child. I love to see you. All right, stay purposeful, stay powerful, and stay authentically you. Because don't nobody do you like you, boo. <laughs>